What's up guys, Kit Dale here, four year Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, two time world pro champion, amateur tattoo artist and all round good guy. We're here to talk today about how to deal with nerves and pressure while competing. And this is one of the, man, it's one of the most difficult things to deal with. Uh, you ask any competitor the amount of things that go through their head and the amount of demons they have to battle just to be able to step out on those mats or whatever it is you compete in is massive. And uh, I wanna focus on that today and talk about how I was able to change the way I thought and looked at jiu-jitsu to make myself enjoy it so much more and, and really remove the nerves and the pressure. And for me, the, the nerves, uh, my nerves came from pressure. And you probably realize by now, there's a small chance of really getting severely hurt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Uh, there's probably more chance of getting hurt driving a car, yet we don't get too nervous to drive a car. So I don't think many people do worry about getting hurt. Um, I think it's more the pressure that they put on themselves and what their teammates put on them or what they allow people to put on them that, that uh, really hurts. And I always advise people never to let anyone put anything on you that you don't want on you. Um, that goes for everything, okay? I know some of you guys out there are probably into that shit. So don't be putting your shit on other people, all right? You're junk. What the fuck, where did I go with this? Anyway, back to what I was talking about. Uh, the pressure, okay, so for me the pressure came from the way I identified with myself. And what I started doing is I started identifying as a good grappler. And I, to be a good grappler then you can't lose, you know, or to be one of the best grapplers you can't lose. And this brings you so much fear because you're going into a, a competition where you can lose and you can very easily lose. You're competing against the other best jiu-jitsu players in either the world or in your division or whatever it is but there's a really good chance that you know you're going to lose there's a 50 50 chance you're going to lose straight away uh, so the chances of you winning are actually quite low and depending on where you sit at and what your skill level is it's usually quite low so for me i was identifying as a really good grappler and i was so worried about having my identity shattered by losing so that gave me what well, brought me great stress for a long time and there was many times where I would compete and I would be so close to walking off those mats and like walking back home uh, not walking all the way home because usually I was in America or something and living in Australia but I would want to I would want to leave and I hated it the whole lead up to Jiu Jitsu I hated the stress every single day uh, you know the weight cuts are bad enough let alone putting pressure on yourself it's it's terrible and I know a lot of people go through the same things where they contemplate, you know, maybe I should just say that, uh, you know, I've got diarrhea and I can't compete and just take off. Or maybe I should just put my headphones on and pretend I didn't even hear my name called, which I've seen a lot of people do that. I definitely advise not to do that, but I definitely say that there's a way to change your thought patterns to really avoid that kind of pressure. And I, I want to explain a few things to you today to help you understand that you're probably thinking of jiu-jitsu or yourself a lot differently to what you should be. First thing I'm, I'm gonna say, don't take this the wrong way. No one gives a fuck whether you win or lose. No one gives a fuck whether you win or lose, that's true. Whether you wanna hear that or not, it's true. Your teammates only care for what it would represent them to be a part of a winning club. Your friends, your family, your partner, what they really want is not you to win, for you to win. What they want is for you to be happy. Okay, and if that means you have to win to be happy, then they want you to win. Or maybe they just wanna hang out with you and they don't want you to be a fucking miserable sod for the next uh, you know, couple of days, so they want you to win because it's for them. Most people are wanting you to win because it benefits them in some way. And some people want you to lose because it benefits them in some way. But everyone that's watching it is watching it with their own personal agenda, their own ego deciding what they want for the best of them. So they really don't want what's best for you. They want what's best for them. So forget about them straight away. Forget about what anyone thinks because no one really cares. You know, you're not going to lose the match and then go home or your parents are going to go home and go, oh, I'm just really disappointed that Jimmy lost his jiu-jitsu match today. It's, oh, it's stressing me out. Like, they don't give a fuck. They want you to win because they think that it's going to make you happy. And the truth is, it may make you happy a little bit, but really it's not the way you want to look at it. You should be very happy that you've stepped out of your comfort zone and competed in something. And if you've given it your best shot on that day, then you shouldn't be anything but happy. Because Jiu-Jitsu 
is really rolling the dice a lot of times. You, you know, you're in a position and you think, fuck, I wanna try this, I'm gonna take a shot at this. Hopefully it works out. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But regardless, it's really a lot of rolling the dice. And the better you are, you know, the more chances your dice are gonna come up with good numbers. But regardless, there's still always that element that even if you're better than someone, you can make one mistake or they do something really good, well-timed, and they win. So it is a roll of the dice. No one gives a fuck whether you win. The only person that does is you. And what you have to understand, the real battle is just, like I said, getting out there, competing. Now, if you worry about your result, you start doing a lot of things. If you identify as a good grappler, you start doing a lot of things, okay? And which I, I'm against identifying as anything. I think you should just identify as yourself that competes in grappling. If you start identifying as a good grappler and you're worried about losing, you start thinking about the match before it even happens. Now your brain doesn't know the difference between what you imagine and what you do. So straight away you start thinking about this match and you start thinking about it and you're like, oh fuck, what if he mounts me? And suddenly your brain starts releasing adrenaline. Your heart rate you know, picks up, your blood vessels dilate to allow more blood flow and oxygen to your muscles. You feel a little bit sick and nauseous about that feeling, the same feeling that happens when your amygdala decides that you need to fight or flight in a life or death situation. You feel sick because you need to throw up and run faster. Your blood, you start pumping blood and oxygen to your muscles to be stronger. To base it, basically, it's trying to get you to use every single part of your energy in a short period of time to keep you alive. Yet you are not in a life or death situation. You're just thinking about a match that hasn't even taken part yet. It hasn't even taken place yet. So you start doing this and you do this often. You do it maybe 15 to 20 times a day and three weeks before the match. Imagine how much energy you start using. Amazing amounts of energy you'll start using. I've done this so many times where I've been super fit and by the time I get to that match, I've got nothing left because of my body's fucking burnt through all of it just worrying about the match. And usually, usually the thing you're worried about, the person you're worried about, will usually get knocked out before you even have to go in there. Or uh, the situations that you're worried about happening never really happen. So my point is, don't think about the match. It's not going to help you very much at all. Maybe you, maybe you know who you're fighting, so you wanna strategically come up with a solution but don't sit there thinking about all these possibilities that can happen because what's gonna happen is you're gonna use a lot of unnecessary energy and you're going to put yourself in a state of suffering until you fight that match. And then when you usually do, you'll be like, oh fuck, I can't believe I was worried about that. Don't do it. What I do not to do it is I just sit there in the moment. Anytime I start thinking about a match that's coming up, uh, coming up I remind myself to be in the moment. Forget about that, it's not here, there's no point of even thinking about it. Just be in the moment. And I do this all the way until I step on that mat. And then when I step on that mat, I try and stay in the moment anyway, because here we are. It's usually you're really nervous until you get on that mat and then it's fine, it goes away. It's the lead up to that that scares the shit out of most people. So we wanna try and eliminate that. So one, don't think about that shit. One, sorry, all that pressure is made up, it's in your head. No one really cares. And you shouldn't either. You should be more focused on going out there and giving your best. If you go out there and you don't care about the result and you just want, your goal is to just have fun and really have a crack at it and try and you know, do your best, then you're gonna compete way better than what you would if you were just you know, stressing about winning. You stress about winning, you tighten up, you start you know, second guessing things and you're so worried about losing that it's very hard to win. So my, my point is go out there and just try and do your best in that moment. You might not have had good training. I've done this many times, especially in the last two years where I'm traveling so much. I don't have time to train. I'm in countries that don't even have training and then I've got to go compete against someone. There's nothing I can do. All I've got to do is do the best in that moment. And sometimes it requires being a little bit strategic because you know you're not fit enough, but so be it. But don't sit there worrying about something that you cannot change. Do your best to prepare in the future, but don't worry about what's already happened. And don't sit there thinking about the future. So the point is don't sit there thinking about the past don't sit there thinking about the future. Be in the moment. That's where you want to be. And that's where all the magic happens. And that's usually what the, what the beauty of jiu-jitsu is anyway. We usually train jiu-jitsu because it brings us into the moment. You're not sitting there worrying about bills or stresses or girls or guys. You're in the moment and you're trying to stop some guy from choking you and you're trying to choke him. 
and that's the game. And it's a really good, jiu-jitsu is really good because it brings you in the moment. So you wanna make sure that you uh, capitalize on that outside of jiu-jitsu as well and not sit there stressing about a match that's coming up. So don't worry about that, all pressure is made up. No one really gives a fuck and you shouldn't either. You're here to have fun and that's what it's about. That's what life is about, it's about having fun I think anyway. And if you think that winning a jiu-jitsu match is gonna change your life, then you're thinking wrong. Anything that you can get out of winning a jiu-jitsu match, you can get out regardless, you know. Even if you're trying to market yourself to make sales of a DVD, remember the best coaches aren't always the best competitors. And a lot of the best coaches that I know that make a lot of money teaching have never even competed in the first place. So you don't need one or the other. You don't need to be a champion you know, on the mat. You don't need to be a winner. You just need to be a champion in life. And the only way to be a champion in life is actually just giving a, a, a crack, just trying. That's all that matters. If you do that, then you've won already. So stay in the moment. Don't worry about anyone or don't let anyone put any pressure on you. Everyone else is just trying to do what's best for them and that's what you should do as well. I remember when I was doing auditions, I had the same problem and then someone reminded me that, look, the casting director wants to be a director. The person reading the lines with you wants to be a casting director. Someone else in there wants to be an actor. The guy holding the broom mic might, might want to be an actor. They're all thinking about their, themselves. They're not too worried about you. We kind of put ourselves in the center of this universe and think that everyone is worried about us and concerned about us and we're just, we're a tiny little fraction of every, everyone else's lives. So understand that, remove that pressure, go out there, have fun, do your best, and that's a win as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you wanna see more products and more, more of my videos, go to kitdaletraining.com. Uh, please leave comments in the section. I'd love to know what you think and why you get nervous and if this helped you or what you've done to help yourself and, uh, and share it if you enjoyed it. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Take it easy and once again, say hi to your mum for me.